Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's tutorial, I decided to use my Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy palette. So I got this palette right before I went away to Miami and I wasn't going to touch it, but I had to. So I've been using this palette for about a week now and I love it, but I just did film a full review, went swatch by swatch. So I will link that video down below. I will probably end up posting the videos at the same time, but just so that they're two separate videos. So if you want to watch the tutorial, you can watch this video. If you want to watch the review in case you're interested in buying it, you can watch the other video. Before we get into this tutorial, I just wanted to remind you guys that once I hit 50,000 followers on Instagram, I am going to be having a huge giveaway and I haven't figured out all the details yet, but I do believe that the requirements to win are going to be that you have to obviously follow me on Instagram subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Snapchat. So if you want to get a head start, go ahead and follow me in all of these different places. And then once I hit 50K, I will post all of the rules and regulations and how to enter. But yeah, that's enough talking. So without further ado, let's get right into this tutorial and I will see you guys at the end. Bye. Hope you enjoy. So I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. And then I'm going to blend it out with a damp beauty blender. Next I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and set my lid. Next I'm going to take the ever so beautiful Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy Palette. And first I'm going to highlight my brow bone with the color Beach. Next I'm going to pick up on the color Penny and I'm just going to use that as my transition shade so I'm going to keep it right above my crease because I want this to be a little bit of a more blown out look. Next I am going to take the uh, pop of color which is burgundy, this center color right here, and I am going to continue to put that in my crease but a little bit lower than the previous color. Next I'm going to pick up on this color brick right here and I am just going to really accentuate the outer corners of my eyes. So I'm going to rim it along my upper lash line and then just bring that corner slightly up into my crease. And then I am going to do the exact same thing with the darker color almond. I'm just going to go back in with that first blending brush with no added product and just blend the outsides of my eyeshadow so that there are no harsh lines. And now because I want this next color to be super pigmented, I am going to take my MAC Fix Plus and spray my eye shading brush. And now I am going to pick up on this burgundy shimmer color called Dubai. Now before I continue on with my eyeshadow, I just want to clean up right underneath my eyes and just to start to get the shape going. So I am just going to take a makeup remover wipe and clean up right underneath. Now with a small little pencil brush, I am going to mix burgundy and almond and just further divine my outer corner. Next to really intensify the eye a little bit more and make it a little bit more dramatic, I am going to take this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow and I am just going to start by applying it as close to the outer corner and my lash line as possible. And then as I see fit, I'm just going to smoke out my lid a little bit. Next, I'm going to take my Tardiest Eyeliner Duo, and with the felt tip side, I am going to start to wing my eyeliner. Next, I am going to apply my lashes. These are the Ardell 120s stacked on top of the Ardell 122s. And then I'm going to marry my false and real lashes together with a coat of mascara. Next, I'm going to take my new favorite primer. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer, and I am just going to focus this primer on my problem areas. Next, I am going to make a cocktail between my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Liquid Foundation in the shade R370 because my chest is a little bit darker than my face right now, so I want it to match. And then I am also going to mix it with the Becca Cosmetics Backlight Primer. I just think that it makes the foundation a little thinner and a little bit more wearable and natural looking. It's been my go-to lately. So I did about three pumps of the foundation and two pumps of the primer. And now I'm just going to take a damp beauty blender and buff it into my skin. 
And next I am going to make a, another little makeup cocktail. I am going to mix my Tarte Shape Tape in the color Fair and my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light. And I am just going to mix these two. I've been mixing them for a while now and I really like how it looks. And I'm going to blend it out with a damp beauty blender. All right, cool. Next, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour shades in the color Vanilla and Banana. Excuse my dog barking in the background. And I'm just going to mix those and set right underneath my eyes. Next, I'm going to take my Benefit Hula Bronzer and start contouring with this. I stopped using this bronzer for a while. I don't really know why. I guess it just was it. It was so much easier to have my one contour shade palette, but I do love this bronzer, so I want to use it right now. I even hit the pan on it, so you know I like it. And I am just going to start contouring right underneath my cheekbones, and then I'm going to go in and contour my nose. And now I'm going to go back in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm going to bake underneath my eyes, underneath my contour, on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and on my chin. Now I'm going to go back in with the color Brick from the Burgundy Palette, and I am going to start to smoke out underneath my eyes. And then I am going to pick up on this gold color LA, and I am going to rim right underneath my lash line. Next, I'm going to take my MAC Fascinating Eye Coal, which is a white liner, and I am going to apply it to my bottom waterline. Next, I'm going to wipe away any leftover setting powder in downward strokes so that it covers up my pores instead of pushing the product into them. Now, my phone died when I went to go do this next part, but I just, after I wiped away the setting powder, I just put it again right on my outsides of my nose to really thin it out a bit. And now I'm going to go in with the best smelling blush ever. This is the Benefit Coralista blush. This used to be my favorite thing ever. And I guess again, I just stuck with the palettes because they were so much easier to bring around with me. But this got lost in my draw. I, I love it. I don't know why I ever stopped using it. So I am going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks. Next, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills That Glow Glow Kit, and I am going to pick up on the color Bubbly right here, and I am going to highlight my cheekbones. And next, I'm going to take my Kylie Cosmetics Candy K Lip Liner and Liquid Lip, and I am just going to apply this to my lips. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. If you liked what you saw, you know the deal. Give it a big thumbs up below, subscribe below, comment below. If you have any requests for future videos, you can leave that below as well. And listen, I won't be mad at you if you share my videos with your friends. That would be actually kind of great. Enough's enough. I'm done with my tutorial. I'm sure you're done listening to me talk. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.